I love this one. So it's basically ensuring that we are using carbon immutable. Not a lot of people know about this, but it's literally, it's literally a problem in my opinion with carbon in general in Laravel, which is dates are literally mutable when you call things, um, when you call methods on those objects. I'm gonna show you this. You probably wouldn't expect this, but it's literally, in my opinion, Dates in Laravel should be immutable by default uh, in Laravel 11, but uh, it's not the case, but I'm going to show you real quick. This is like the real, this is actually a real use case. So by doing something like this, you are effectively also changing this date. So both will have plus seven days. This is crazy, right? And then you say, okay, the date of my new model will be the start date, which is today, but the end date will be today plus seven. Not a lot of people know about this, but if you were to actually run this and potentially actually use a model to create this, uh, you know, like portfolio, for example, uh, create with that data, effectively the start data and the end data will have the same date. Let me show you that on the console. So if I run Vinabin past, you can see that now both the start date and the end date are literally today plus seven days. Okay, not a lot of people know about this, but there is actually a solution for this. And the only thing you have to do is go to your app service provider and within your boot method, have some sort of function that looks like this. Date, then double column, and you type use carbon immutable. And a really cool thing about this is that now if you run your code, you will see that effectively the start date will be today, but the end date will be uh, seven days from now which is literally something that you probably should have in all your projects. <laughs> the reason why this is happening is that in PHP, literally objects are, are literally always provided by reference, okay? Objects are always provided by reference, okay? So if you are sending an object through your application, the object will be always the same no matter where the object is stored, okay? So if you are doing something like add days, in the add days is instead of returning a new date object is mutating the current object that's why this is happening it's for that reason you know what i mean moda is saying that you can use data copy add days dude i understand that but i don't i don't think it's expected that people have to do this you know i don't i understand that we can do this i just don't think it's it's normal that we have to ask people to do this you know this should just be immutable by default period what do you guys think that's my opinion at least